All right, so if we went to sketch a Ferris wheel out, this one actually has a base, correct? There's a base on the Ferris wheel. So we can draw ourselves a little circle for a Ferris wheel. And then a base with some ground level. And then I like cutting my Ferris wheel into four pieces. That's terrible. Whatever. It's into four pieces. Okay. If I cut my Ferris wheel into four pieces, guys, you can't not pay attention to it. Awesome. If I cut my Ferris wheel into four pieces, I will end up getting four coordinates out of it. Actually, five. And I need five coordinates to run a regression. So if I want to get an equation out of this, I need five coordinates, and then it could give me an equation for myself. But it also gives me information. So one full revolution is the same as what, do you think? Words we've used before. Amplitude, midline, period. Period. Period is how long it takes to repeat itself, correct? So one revolution is a fancy way of giving you the period. Right? Now, the radius of the graph as well, just so you know, the radius of a graph is from here, center to edge, center to edge. What would we call that? Center to edge, center to edge. What word did we give that? No, we have the radius, but what did we give that in sinusoidal terms? Amplitude. So in other words, if I ever give you the radius, I have given you also the amplitude. Because amplitude is half the vertical distance from the max to the min, while the radius is half the vertical distance from the max to the min. Radius is half of the circle, right? And the center of this circle, what's that a fancy way of saying? Now keep in mind if we were drawing the graph, it would go like this. To a max, to a min. It would be the midline, wouldn't it? Right? Because this would be my minimum, this would be my maximum, this would be my minimum, then I go back to my maximum. And over time, it would show a graph of distance over time, wouldn't it? So, the center of any wheel is also the midline. All right, from this Ferris wheel, I can actually get coordinates. Well, let's see how. I know that this thing makes one revolution every 18 seconds, and I just cut it into four pieces, correct? So if I want to know each of these pieces, I would go 18 seconds divided by 4. What does that come out as? is 4.5 because it's 9 divided by 2. So every single spot I'm going to it's going to take 4.5 seconds to get to each of those four spots, correct? And what time do we start at? Zero. Time is always x, right? For these ones for the sinusoidal. So here I have 0 seconds. Then say I rotate this way, I would have to show with an arrow that I'm rotating in that direction, right? This is zero seconds and some sort of height. Now this would be 4.5 seconds, comma, some sort of height. This one, right? Then this one would be at 9 seconds and some sort of height. Then I add another 4.5. This would be at 13.5 seconds and some sort of height. And then this would be at 18 seconds and some sort of height. You see how I just went around and made the time? So now I have the x's for five coordinates, don't I? How do I get the y's? 
Well, what was the minimum? One meter. So I know this is one meter, and so is this. True? What else did it give me? The maximum was 16 meters from the ground. How do I get that center? Find the midline. How do I find a midline if I have the min and the max? Nope. Add two. You add them and divide by two because the midline is the average. Correct? So if I want the center, I'm going to find the midline or median value, which is y equals max plus min divided by two. Which is 17 divided by 2, which is 8.5. Do we agree? So this is 8.5. This is 8.5. So once you have that, put your pencils down. Yeah? Do you have to add meters to this? You get to 17? No, it says a seat is 16 meters above the ground. Oh, okay. Yeah. If it said I had a diameter of 16, then it would be 17. Yeah. Okay, put your pencils down and pay attention. Yeah. Yeah. So, my coordinate is zero seconds, technically one meter, then 4.5 seconds and 8.5 meters, then 9 seconds and 16 meters, then 13.5 seconds and 8.5 meters, and then 18 seconds and 1 meter. Everyone agree? Those are the five points I pulled off. So, why a sinusoidal graph comes out of this is because you can get sinusoidal graphs when you have the same min and max happening the whole time at the same amount of time. Yeah. Yeah. So, I'm just paying attention. I'm showing you how these coordinates can turn into a sinusoidal graph. Okay? So, we're going to plot them. You don't have to. You can just pay attention. You can plot them after if you'd like. This is yeah. one meter. This is eight and a half. And this would be uh, 16. And then I would have zero, 4.5, 9, 13.5, and 18. And this would be time in seconds. Please stop talking. Right. In meters. So we're going to plot the five points. Yes? So we have 0 and 1, 4.5 and 8, 9 and 16, 13.5 and 8, 18 and 1. So we get this. It's not pointed, it's rounded. And then we would. Right, it would just keep going and going and going and going. That's how they got off the ferris wheel. Would it go like this down here? Would this change? Would it get faster? Would it be like this? First off, this will never change unless the person has gotten off the ferris wheel and fallen. Right? Because they're going to reach a max and a min no matter what. So the min and the max would never change. Could this technically happen? Could I get this happening faster? Yes, if all of a sudden the ferris wheel got out of control and it was going super fast, right? Or they could slow it down, and it would do this, right? But as long as you keep a constant speed, the min and the max are going to stay the same. The ferris wheel can't change. It has a min and a max set. So unless you have a constant speed, we'll always get this sinusoidal curve. Can we agree? All right. So now you can pick your pencils back up. Let's answer some questions. What is the period, period of the ferris wheel? What is the period of the Ferris wheel? The 
period is how long it takes to complete one revolution. So yes, 18 seconds. What is the amplitude? How do I figure out the amplitude? Guys, I've shushed you, and then you guys stop for two seconds and go right back to what you're doing. It gets really annoying. So it's 16 minus the minimum, which is 1, divided by 2, which is 15 divided by 2, so my amplitude is actually 7.5. And I get a ton of people mixing up the amplitude and the midline. So remember, your midline is the center. It's the max plus n divided by 2. Your amplitude is half the vertical distance, so it's 7.5. What is the radius? Okay. 7.5. What's another word for amplitude? Radius. What's another radi word for radius? Amplitude. They're the same thing. It's a trick question. How high is the axle above the ground? What's that asking for? The center of the circle. Where's the center at? 8.5, the midline. What is the equation of this function? I have five coordinates. What can I do? Stack. Edit. Put it into my list. Get it. Find each other regression. Start going. Make sure you link your. So it'd be 0, 4.59, oh, no. 13.5, 18, 1, 8.5, 16, 18.5, and back down to 1. Do your list. So the equation I got was y equals 7.5 sine 0.349. Zero six five eight five zero four x minus one point five seven. I hope please they tell you to round it something. Plus eight point five. Does it make sense? We have seven point five at the front, which is my amplitude. Eight point five at the back, which is my midline. Like it should make sense, correct? All right. Okay, guys. This one here is a. Wheel rolling on the ground. It has a radius of 1.4. So we have a wheel rolling on the ground. Still split it into four. We have a radius of 1.4. For some reason, you guys like putting 1.4 here. That's a useless radius. Okay? It's 1.4 here, 1.4 here. We agree? So a wheel with a stone in its tire rolls along the ground. If it has a radius of 1.4, find an equation that gives the height of the stone if you know how far the wheel has rolled. The wheel rotates five times every 60 seconds. So we'll deal with that in a second. Let's get the, actually let's deal with the time first. Five times in 60 seconds. So if I go 60 divided by five, what do I get? And that's the period, because the period is one revolution, not five revolutions, right? Okay, I want to get the time of all of these points. So this here would be zero seconds. Now if I want, I can rotate this way. I just have to show an arrow of it. Then this would be how many seconds, how many seconds, how many seconds? That's what we have to decide. And then this is going to be back to 12 seconds. How do I figure out what to break those seconds into? Yeah. Divided by 4. So if I go 12 divided by 4, these are all happening every 3 seconds, correct? You just take your period and divide it by 4 because you're cutting it into 4 slices. So it's going to be 0. This one will be 3 seconds and something. This one will be 6 seconds and something. This will be 9 seconds and some sort of height, and then back down to 12. So we know we're right if when we fill it in, it gets back to the one revolution. <laughs> now, how do I do my heights? Normally, if it is a Ferris wheel, we're off the ground a bit, correct? But this is a tire, so hopefully unless we're like 
part of Hogwarts. That tire is on the ground. So what's going to be my height here? Zero. Zero. Meters. Meters. Now, what's the height of the middle going to be? It's a really large tire. <laughs> 1.4 meters. And then the height to the top? 2.8 meters. I'm like 1.6 meters, so aggressively tall tires. And then... One meter is three feet. Aren't you at 1.6 meters? Aren't I 1.6 meters? Oh, yeah, that would make sense. Yeah, because then it's like 60. It's like that green dump. Because two would be six six feet, and I am not six feet. I would be two meters. Yeah, I'm basically six feet. I'm just round up. Yeah, you two. No, you're basically five. Remember, we discussed it. Four eleven. <laughs> okay. We already tested this. I'm taller. Oh my gosh. Okay, we did test this. He was taller. Yes. Yes, though. We stood side by side, and I'm basically six feet, so he's seven. All right. <laughs> so here we have. Give an equation. How do we get an equation from this? Yeah, put it into your calculator. Before we do that, though, I want you to tell me what the midline is. What's the midline of this one? <coughs> this is the midline. The center is the midline. What's the midline? 1.4. What is the amplitude? Amplitude is the same as radius, guys. What's your amplitude? One point four. These happen to be the same. Remember, your radius and midline will be the same if you start at the ground. It's just most of the time you don't start at the ground, right? That tire does. So type it in. Get your equation. Once you get your equation, I want you to answer this question. So go. No. 0.5 to z. Not 